Hello, and welcome to another episode of Five for Five, where we give you a five minute or less video that you can use to get into God's Word for five minutes or more, hopefully. I'm Zach Foote, Youth and Family Minister here at the Downtown BTP Church of Christ. Hopefully you've already seen our first video where we explain a little bit more about the Power for Today, what our theme is through that quarterly that we're going to use to help guide us and direct us as we get cl grow closer to God, as we become more devoted, living immersed, which is our challenge and our theme as we do that together. And so uh, if you haven't seen that, go back and look at that video. It's on our Facebook and YouTube pages, Downtown BTP Church of Christ. If you don't see it on the YouTube page yet, it'll be there uh, soon, and so keep watching those for more updated videos and more additions. So this week, I want to talk a little bit about what it is to be noble or to do something noble. So Philippians chapter 4, verses 8 and 9, our main theme for this quarter, talks about all the different things that we need to uh, focus on, or a good list of things, maybe not an exhaustive list, but all these things to focus on what we've seen, heard, and received uh, from Paul as he's writing to the, the Philippians, he says to practice these things. So we're going to hear these things. We're going to think about these things. We're going to understand these things. Then ultimately, we're going to start putting these things into practice. And so what does it mean to be uh, noble, to do something noble? And it's kind of ironic that that same word <clears throat> has a couple of different meanings. And so uh, in, in many different places, even still today, people talk about the nobility of their family line and so it's almost this idea of receiving honor or glory or praise or whatever just because of who you are where you came from where you live how much money you have what your social status is um, and again your, your family lineage and it's this idea of because of who I am what I've done you give me honor um, and that should just be given to me just because and then you have this other idea that same word is used to describe someone uh, possessing very high moral standards um, or excellent qualities or properties and someone who is doing the honorable thing and so this honorable some versions out there in Philippians 4 8 through 9 it actually says do whatever is honorable in thinking about these things noble and honorable coming from that same word there so whoever is doing that honorable thing um, one seeks to bring honor to oneself that first idea of nobility just because of who I am where I come from who I'm who I know um, the things that I've accomplished of my own accord, um, I should receive honor for those things. And the other seeks to um, give honor to God. So Jesus, who is actually deserving of all honor and praise and glory, leaves all that. He gives all that up. He's inserted into time and he comes in human form to live his life perfectly in perfect service and sacrifice, all in order for him to glorify the Father and then in turn have the Father be the one to bestow upon him honor and glory by raising his son up from the grave and giving him a seat at his side and giving him the name that is above every other name. Jesus' goal was not to come into this life and to say, hey, everyone, look at me and how great I am. Everybody grovel at my feet and do all these things for me and worship me and serve me, do all these great things for me. He came and his goal was to bring honor to God and let God be the one to give him the glory in return. And so it reminds you of James chapter 4, verse 10. It says, humble yourselves before the Lord and he will lift you up. If we seek to do things that gives us honor and glory in this lifetime based on our actions, instead of giving the honor and glory to, to God, then our reward is going to be just that. Something that we get from, from this world and it's going to be fleeting, it's going to be temporary. But if we wait, if we humble ourselves in service uh, to God and for godly things, for noble and honorable things, then what greater reward is there than for the God of all things, creator of the universe, to give us glory because of a, a life well lived. So um, as we live in a world that seeks to receive recognition for those things that we do, for um, praise of just who you are and and who you're related to, again, who you know, then think of noble things. Think of the life that Christ lived uh, and died in perfect sacrifice to God in obedience, that noble character serving and honoring God instead of trying to exalt ourselves. That's it for today. Thank you for watching today's uh, 5 for 5. Again, we have this video posted on our YouTube and Facebook pages that you can look at, Downtown Bixby Church of Christ. Um, and 
use this as a tool, not only for yourself, but again, for outreach. So others can know about God. You can share God's word with your family and friends and those you come into contact with. Uh, we would love to have you worship with us Wednesday nights at 7 p.m. or Sunday mornings at 10 a.m. But we know that some of you might be watching this and you're nowhere close. You don't have that ability to come and worship with us. And so you can join our live stream on Facebook Live uh, at the Downtown Bakesby Church of Christ Facebook page uh, and worship with us there because we believe that this is a perfect place for imperfect people to worship a perfect Savior. Have a blessed week.